wonderful weather in New Hampshire. So what I wanted to talk about just for a second, a lot of people here probably know I used to work for Child Protective Services, which is known as DCYF over here. While I was working for the agency, my job was to protect children. That's what I was told when I started working there. After my first day working there, though, I recognized that I was implementing the drug war. The first day I worked for the agency, there was a drug raid. A house was ripped open, and I saw a mother crying outside begging for her children. A chance to actually stay with her kids because she knew that that child was going to go to a foster home. And we took three of those children, put them in the back of my car, brought them to a foster home where they were regularly drugged. Because in America, they're only against certain drugs. Right? They're for pharmaceutical drugs that have never truly been tested on kids, but they don't have a problem putting millions of children on what is essentially crystal meth right now. And a growing issue that is occurring right now that needs to get more publicity, and thankfully it's, it's, it, some people are getting it out there right now, is another form of the war on drugs that is occurring right now that doesn't even need a cop. It just takes a doctor. I was standing in a neonatal intensive care unit, and I watched... I had to go into a room to tell a woman that I was going to be taking her child away that day. She was not going to be going home with her child because the moment that woman became a mother was the moment that person became a criminal. She had tested positive for marijuana about two months into her pregnancy. She stated she didn't even know that it was in her system. She actually didn't even realize she was pregnant whenever she did smoke cannabis if she did so. So she admitted to the doctor because she trusted them. That trust for authorities can screw us all over. What the war on drugs has done, what the government has done, is make us have to fear the people who really do want to help people. Some of those doctors, they don't want to have to report things, but they're mandatorily set to have to do that. The state makes us all enemies to someone else. It's not just the war on drugs. We have to end the state for any real freedom to occur. All right, I will let it off to someone else. I'll stop preaching. Hi, my name is Tom. I'm just coming out here at heart. Just free flow of words. You know we all know what we're doing, right? And you know, we all need the body connection. You know, and some of the doctors just have the anatomy of the books. We go to them with the physical smarts. And they push us back and don't believe in us. But to make overall story quick but short but fast at heart, we just gotta just smoke that pot and make it legal with what we got. So how's that? So all the mild fashion and knots inside the body that the doctor died and she can't order out of us. But if we get in touch with our bodies, we can smoke some sweet long walk in love. Have a tenor voice of above with a muscle of sweet long lock love. And then we can be over all the shit because you can't make shit look pretty. Doctor. And then you just gotta say, excuse me, I'm sorry, I swear, I just got a capital dare here. And um, hyperactive, oh yeah, so I'll just let it out. But, um, you know, it's not hurting us, we all know what we're doing. And, uh, you know, it's the balance and the control of the body. The medications make our muscles all knotted and they give us all this crap that we have to deal with ourselves. But in the long run, the pot really isn't really hurting anything inside the body, you know? And, and, and it just should, it should become something that we should actually have our want and not have people actually control the want of what's going on out there. You know, there's nothing really wrong with it, you know? And, and I just believe that we need to know with our hearts on this. I, I really don't know too much to say. I'm just letting out the feng shui right now, you know? So, uh, but, but anybody get up here and just give it what you got because we just need to show a lot, you know? So, so you know, I'm all nodded and confused, but I got nothing to lose, you know? I ain't gonna waste a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, 
hard palate and a little bit harder. That's all I want. I don't want everything to see with all I got. All right, somebody else give this phone a try. Ooh, this is a try.